Hi, my name is Andrea Otto, and I'm the Community Outreach Liaison for Catamount Arts. I'm also one half of a local folk duo known as Pipe and Slippers. And today I'm going to show you how I make my own yogurt. I started making my yogurt in late spring, and I have enjoyed the process so much that I've just continued on for the last few months. And um, it's very simple, and I hope that you enjoy the video and we'll give this a try. Uh, so I, I get my milk from um, a local person who has a cow and um, gives me some raw milk. You can get raw milk from a few different local farms. I recommend that you check out your local farmer's market's website or Facebook page to see it, um, if they have a local person that you could get some milk from. Raw milk is so wonderful for yogurt and I highly recommend using it. So I use a gallon and I put it in a big stock pot on the oven, um, on the stove. And I bring the heat up to about medium, medium high. And I just keep it there. I don't stir it or anything. And I just keep it on the stove until it reaches 180 degrees. And that usually takes about five, five minutes, I think. And once, once the milk reaches 180 degrees, then you turn off the heat and I'll give you the next step. I usually put the jars by the wood stove to warm up before I put the hot water in it. And, but I don't bother heating up the, the cooler first before I pack everything in. And I just tuck some bath towels around them. This method of yogurt making is kind of based on Sandra Katz, um, The Art of Fermentation. So, give a little credit where credit's due. All right, so that's all nestled in, and that will all just get nice and warm in there. I make a little sign, and I put the sign on it just so that people know what's going on, because you don't want a whole lot of heat to escape once you've created that nice warm space. And now we'll wait for the milk to cool down, which will be about, probably about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay, so the milk is at about 118 degrees, and you really want it to stay around 100, between 110 and 115 degrees when it's in the incubator. Um, so starting it off a few degrees higher is fine. Um, as it's cooling, it tends to develop a skin. So I'm just taking a swatted spoon to just skin, just to remove that skin from the pot. starter just some of the yogurt from the previous batch that I made and you can if you if you're starting out from scratch and you don't have some yogurt to use as your starter that's fine you can buy starter um, a lot of co-ops and health food stores have it or what you can do to begin with is buy some raw milk yogurt which I heartily recommend doing you can get it at the Littleton co-op um, when I first started making yogurt at the beginning of the pandemic, I went to the Littleton Co-op and I bought a jar of raw milk yogurt, and that's what I've been using. That my my yogurt, all of the batches from that one yo yogurt, um, I haven't needed to replenish it. Um, I think if you buy a, a yogurt starter the active cultures in it that will make the yogurt are not as diverse, so you'll have to replenish it more often. Um, but that, that one batch of raw milk yogurt that I started with several months ago um, mm -hmm. has kept my batches of yogurt going um, for months, and I make yogurt about every other week. So I think it's worth the investment of you know just getting that one, one batch of raw yogurt to start out with because 
just those active cultures in it are just so plentiful that it'll just keep you going for a really long time. So I add about a spoonful of yogurt per quart that I'm baking. So I'm making four quarts of yogurt. So I'm going to do four spoonfuls from the previous batch. It's about, about a generous tablespoon. And then I just ladle some of the milk into it. And I just whisk it in, just so it'll be nice and smooth and it will incorporate nicely with the milk. And then I just stir that in with the milk and then we'll be ready to put it into the jars. So I, I use a wide mouth canning funnel to pour the milk into the jars. And as you can see, I usually make a really big mess doing it. Okay, so I put the lids on. I give them a little wipe if I got any milk on them. And then I will quickly open this up and nestle them in to our cooler, which is nice and toasty warm now. This is going to stay in here for eight hours and it will uh, work its yogurt magic. In the meantime, maybe Nathan and I will play some music. Looks like they've set up really nicely. Let's take a look at one. So I used whole raw milk. I didn't skim off any of the cream. So this yogurt has a really beautiful cream top on it. Yeah, that's really beautiful yogurt. At this point, if you wanted to add any sweeteners like maple syrup or flavors like vanilla, you could, but it's also just really wonderful plain too. And there it is. I hope that you try yogurt uh, for yourself. It's a really great project. And I also encourage you to post some uh, videos and recipes of your own for this project. You can send any submissions to cookbook at catamonarts.org.